You already know it's Shannon Marie. I'm here to do a test run on how or if the milk of magnesia really works as a primer. I bought so many videos and I went out and I bought several primers. Currently I was using the Becca Evermatte primer and it did justice because I have matte oily skin but then a friend of mine had told me that the milk of magnesia works and you can get it at your I think Walmart I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart for those of you who live in Canada um I guess if you're outside of Canada you can get it at your drugstore so I got this brand the Philips milk of magnesia yes it is a laxative so that's why I was kind of concerned about it at first but um I heard that it works so here we go I'm gonna give it a try so it says shake before using so I went ahead and then um, I, I, oh, goodness gracious. Hello? I went ahead and I already like toned my face. I washed it with my turmeric soap and then I went ahead and I used my toner for my face and then I moisturized my face with my Cantu Shea Butter Lotion. So now I have to add my Milk of Magnesia on my face to see if this thing really works. So it's very, Excuse me, it's very liquidy, so I guess my friend was telling me before that I kind of have to put my fingers in it and then dab my face and wait till it air dries, so I'm going to do just that. I have a blanket on the floor just in case it spills, so put my two fingers in there. Gosh. I remember when she was telling me to do it, not to use like a lot, because when it dries, it dries very white, so I have to be careful of how much I put on. Normally, um, when I put my primer on, I put it on, oh, sh see it spilled. I put it on the spots that I sweat the most or that I get oily the most, which is right here, here, my nose, and right here. So that's the. This thing is spilling. I'm just gonna use whatever's on my leg. It spilled. Yeah, I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't want. When I put my makeup on, I don't want it to look ghostly. So. So I'm gonna put it around here. Well, you know, I shouldn't put it here because when I do my eyebrows. Okay. I think this is enough. My friend told me that when it dries, it's gonna, you'll know it's dry, like if you smile like this. Or if you move your face around, then it gets tight, so then you'll know it's dry. So I'll be back when it's fully dried, and then I will do my eyebrows and then my foundation. Bruh, I think I put too much. Oh, see, this part is barely dry. But listen, this is very white. This is very white. I hope it doesn't show through my makeup because I have work right after, so I really hope it does not show through. Okay, you know what? Let me just stop talking. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. This is where I'm going to use my Fenty foundation in the color 450 to apply to my face. For the makeup this day, I'm going to go in um, with my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray my foundation brush. Please don't laugh at it. Please. It's stiff. I know. I have to clean it. Spray it. And then I'm going to...
Okay, so it's covering so far. Okay, now everything situated. I added my highlighter and I added my lip gloss. So now I'm gonna go in with my eyelashes. I never really put on eyelashes in my videos because it's hard. What I normally do, I double them. So I already went ahead and I doubled it. So I'm just gonna put it on. The glue that I use is hair glue, to be honest. Don't judge me because I know a lot of you guys use hair glue. So, but normally if I'm not using hair glue, I use another brand. This one. Like, wow, it's dirty as hell, but I normally use this brand because it dries clear and for people who can't put their eyelashes on properly I would recommend it because it dries clear and you can't see where the glue is as for the hair glue if you put it on Wrong or if you get it on your eyelid Sometimes it can be tricky to remove the glue off of um, your eyelid. Don't laugh at how I do things Everyone has their own way of doing whatever it is they do Stop talking. <laughs> That's how I put my eyelashes on. Yeah. I like it when it's fluffy and full. So this is the final look. I went ahead and I sprayed my setting spray on my face. So I mean, if you see it's kind of dewy, then that's the reason why. But so far, so good. I do like the milk of magnesia because it feels like my face is not going anywhere. My my makeup covered everything perfectly fine and. Yes, I like it a lot. So, I mean, I spent like eight dollars or twelve dollars on that big bottle. So I mean, I'd rather spend twelve dollars than thirty-eight dollars on my actual primer. So, that is a hack for me. And yes, I'm sharing with you guys. So I mean, if you guys use anything else, or if there's anyone else who uses the same Philips Milk and Magnesia, leave it in the comments below. Let me know how it works for you. And yeah, or if there's this, if there's anything better that you guys like using. Put it in the comments below. Let me know. You guys share your secrets. I shared my secret with you. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And do not forget to turn on your post notifications down below so that you guys will be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All I want to do is give it all to you. Put it down on you like you owe me to. Let me get you right, poppy. I'ma get you right. Steady up all night. Tight, tight, keep you up all night.